I would update the blocks that it tells me to update. I would test it locally. It would oftentimes work. Tip number two, build only one feature at a time. I know it's super tempting to just throw everything at the model all at once and have it spit out entire code. But that often doesn't work. There's just too many things going on. It'd be like me saying, I want to build a Python script where one, it takes a video and turns it into a short. It grabs stock images and then combines it with AI generated images. Number three, then it automatically posts to Instagram. Then it takes that video and posts it to TikTok. It crafts a title from that script to use on different platforms. Then it solves the world's energy crisis. Number seven, it takes a screenshot of frame seven in the video and posts it to LinkedIn. This is just way too much for the model. It's going to get confused. The output is not going to work. So what I found is that for each feature or each bug, I created a brand new chat to keep everything clean. The less data used for the model, the better. So in my subtitles error example, once I tested the model's response in my code and it worked, I would create a new version of my code. You can save this wherever you want. I use Google Drive. I would paste it into a doc because I tested it and I know the fix works. Then I would create a brand new chat and move on to the next feature request.